Welcome to the sponsor video. To begin, you can hover over registration and click on sponsor registration. This is where you can register as a sponsor if you have not done so, or you can log in as a sponsor if you have already registered. I'd also like to mention that the sponsor questions to frequently asked questions is updated and you can go there to view any new questions and answers to those questions. So let's begin by logging in. And to do that, make sure you use Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari. Now, on the login screen, you'll be able to enter in your email and password. If you forgot what email address you used, contact us. We can let you know. If you forgot your password, simply click Forgot Password. When logged in, you'll be able to see your name as well as the campers and families that have registered. There are three levels. You have the family, which shows parents and children. You can just see the parents, or you can see the campers at, under children. You'll mainly want to stay under family because this will help you see how much money a family owes. So looking at these fields below, you will be able to see that this family has two campers registered and the campers are tabbed over underneath that family name and it shows what dates they have registered on it shows the forms how many forms and how many they've completed so this fam this parent level has completed two out of two forms and the camper level this camper has completed one out of five and this other camper one out of five in that family the total price is three hundred sixty dollars for those two camps and this family has paid $360, and so they have a zero balance. The family right here, Smith family, registered on this date, completed all the forms, has the camper Smith has one camp registered for, and so they've paid $25, and this is their remaining balance. When looking at finances, look on the family level, the parent level, to make sure that you see how much that family owes. The information up here is not always accurate because when filters are applied, it can get confusing. Speaking of filters, we have some sponsors who are registered as a sponsor for both camps. That sponsor can click on filter and filter junior week campers or senior week campers. And they'll be able to see just those campers registered for that week of camp. If you go out and see that this black box, when you log in and see this black box, this means a filter is applied. One other thing added this year, you can go and view staff and guests. Hover over the spot that shows these three books and you're working on the project Kent Northwest, but now you can select Kent Northwest staff guest application. And this will take you to the staff and guests who are registered with your church. Now remember that black box I told you with the arrows this is showing? This tells me that there is a filter there. I just need to click that back and it'll show me everyone who is registered. This also has filters for the staff and guests, and they are categorized under guests. So I have a junior week guest, a senior week guest, and then I have my staff categorized, junior week and senior week. Let's see if I have any guests for junior week. I do not have any guests coming. What about senior week? I have two coming. And then I can also filter my staff if I have any staff for junior week, which I don't, or any staff for senior week, which I do have one. Now let's go back to the camper registration. When I go back, I just select where the three books are for projects, and I select Camp Northwest. And when I go back, I'll be able to see all those campers. And once again, there's that filter that has been applied and I can get rid of that if I want and see everyone once again. The last thing I want to mention in the sponsor video is our staff guest application. This is one form and there will be some that say guest, some that say staff and in the same form and the status over here will help you know who has been accepted to camp and who has not been accepted. Just because they registered and you see them does not mean that they are accepted. So please remember that. We will work through that as it gets close to camp and we make the selections. It will be in the status of who has been accepted and not. 
If you have any questions, please let us know at info at